Hello everyone and welcome back to Edgington episode 29 and it is day 19, the dawn of day 19 and everyone has just freshly woken up, we haven't had any more visitors in the night and to the best of my knowledge we haven't got any mobs running around either so that's good. Uh, we did have a chicken and a sheep I believe pass away in the middle of the night, I presume that's just because Beatrix didn't get to feeding them when I paused her so I could all come in, I'm not sure. Um, which is a pity, but at the end of the day those mobs respawn, so as long as we don't have any issues running around such as um, with... Oh, Cle I think Clementine's preventing Nigel from moving, so I'm going to go make that door. Which is looking really odd. That is bizarre. That's facing the wrong way. Cancel that construction. Door. Solid wood door. And that won't let me because there was something like before. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Think people are being kind of strange lately. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, but, you know, it's... Now... I still really want to fix these beds, because they're getting kind of... The back of my chair is really hot, because the window's shining right on it. I still really want to fix these beds, uh, but to make beds we need cloth. To make cloth, we are going to need to use up something, uh, which I think will end up being our cotton. Oh, Samantha has spotted a wolf. Oh, gee, she spotted two wolves. Um, okay, well, Benedict is heading away from the front, so they shouldn't be targeting him. So, Samantha, looks like it's your A-Day. Oh, jeez, there's three of them. And they're attacking. Oh, there's four of them. Wolf has been spotted by Ellie. Ellie, where are you? No, that's the wolf. Where is Ellie? Ellie is here. Okay. Good, good to know. Okay. Samantha, you're supposed to be attacking things. Why are they running off? Where are they running off to? Well, they better not be facing a grave. Okay, there's no one coming in. Where is Benedict? Where is Benedict? Benedict cannot come in as long as they're in the middle of that. Oh, come on, Samantha. You're our star player. One down. Two down. We're gonna have to replace those doors. Where's Benedict? Okay, Benedict's okay. Um, he's gonna have a little bit of trouble getting through these doors. So we need to get rid of them for now. Ugh. Okay, two spotted wolves are dead. There's still two more over here. Samantha, come stand over here and watch on them, please. Whilst we see about getting that... Why are you standing over here, Benedict? What's up with you? Wolf spotted by Samantha, that's fine. What are you up to? Inventory is full storage, isn't available. Wood, 52 of 160, what are you talking about? Get moving. Okay, I would say, Samantha, those those uh, arrows aren't cheap, but actually those are the cheapest arrows available. Okay, there's another one down, so there's only one left. Uh, how many do you have, actually? 34 arrows, you're fine. You're... Eh, you aren't doing too bad. Okay, so... We need to deconstruct our dungeon doors. Yes, I'm sure. Probably not, but we kind of have to. And dispose of corpse. And deconstruct those, because they're just frames now. Okay, and now we need to get doors back up. Lickety split. So, dungeon doors. Okay. Solid wood doors. There we go. 
We're all ready to go. Why is our blacksmith paused? Come on. Build it. Thank you. Uh, so what's that one missing? Oh, game saving. If you'll tell me. Can you come, Nigel? There's a wolf of eight. What do you mean storage isn't available? Let's just, a, let's, just, let's just put a wood pile out here and see if that fixes it. But this is what I mean. I think people are going a bit weird. I'm not sure where, why exactly that is, but uh, go on. Make, make your own wood pile out there. It'll save you time later, anyways. And we don't really need anything from these guys. And there, so there is one wolf still roaming around in good health. We have three archers. We could send them all out in a team. Uh, ooh, which reminds me... Yes, there they are. Inventory. Uh, always the worst quality, please. And, uh, ooh, isn't that some decent armor? Uh, is there a quality I can check for that? No. That's fine. Okay. Well, he's back to chopping wood again, so that's, that's good at least. Uh, meanwhile, Samantha comes stand over here, so I don't need to worry too much, or at least as much. Uh, where's Ellie gone? Is Ellie still... Ellie is still crafting up. Okay, good. And how are we doing on the rope side of things? Um, let's still... No options, so we can't make more archery targets for now. Uh, didn't, I thought we were making cloth. Didn't wasn't that on our listings here? Make free cloth for me, please, Clementine. Is it Clementine? No, Clementine is our our engineer. So ah yes, it's si Simon Augustine, who for some reason, for like the longest time after he arrived, I kept thinking was called Simone. Not. It's not that he looks like a woman or anything, I just, for some reason, that was always in my head. That was the Augustine part, which is a, a French feminine name. Oh, and there is another guy over here who has not as yet been spotted. Ooh. Oh, he's leveling up. Hooray! Hmm. I wonder if a Pathfinder getting messed up like that is causing some issues as well. I don't know how- I don't know what she's trying to do, but it's being very strange. Uh, something is blocking the construction. Yes, you. <laughs> People are going very strange. And I- I don't think it's because of low morale. I mean, Benedict is fine. We saw him being very strange earlier, though. So I don't know quite what's going on. It's very weird. Uh, oh well. So how are we doing on our... Uh, okay, you can get three more tin. Off you go there. It's not the way. Good. Right. So we've got one wolf to the east, another one to the west. I wonder if there's any more running around. Uh, the game will freeze if I. If they happen to spot anything, so I shouldn't worry too much about that just yet. Uh, those are corpses still. Uh, which I should probably do away with at some point, but they seem like a they seem like a good landmark. <laughs> that end is the north. Beatrix is now a level thirteen herder, which means she'll be better about feeding things. But I wonder if that was the problem with the uh, the lost sheep and chicken. It's just like she's so slow as her current level that she uh, just didn't have the time to feed them all. It's a possibility. Okay, so this, out this outer ring is coming along nicely. I would like to put that door there, but I think it's still... Yeah, it's conflicting. Felix has leveled up as a woodchopper. Hey! <laughs> He is now level 14. Hurrah. I wonder if that was the issue. He couldn't stop by the seeds. I don't know. Very strange. But a number of strange things happened in the course of this game. Uh, so my plan... 
I think I've discussed this at some point before, is to have outposts similar to Edgington for each corner, like for, like, for each edge of the map, and then have a central uh, sort of settlement or city inside the, inside the middle of it. Uh, I'm mostly planning on getting a start on that when we have surplus citizenry. What are we missing for that? What's, what's, what's going there? What does that thing need? Uh, doors, dungeon door, requires iron and bricks. Okay, so right now we've got a, we've got a vulnerability. We need to cover this. Uh, so crafting... Uh, no, raw. Is that what we're going to, or are we looking to bricks? I have tent the key there. Uh, that is made by our stonemason, so that's what we found out. And then we just need a lot more iron. So we apparently used all of it. Uh, oh no, we are one shy, which is good because I've just thought that we've got three iron ore. Good, right. Uh, boys, if you're not going to be doing anything for the foreseeable future, you can stand guard for me. Especially since Samantha is presently taking a nap. Oh, Evelyn has leveled up. Hooray! already done the iron. So what are we missing there? I don't understand why I can't select this either. Hmm. Yeah, being weird. And our food is going down quite noticeably. Strangely enough. Are you just idling? Yes, you are. Hmm. I feel like I should put a chair in there or something for her. Yeah, let's put a chair in there for Beatrix to just rest with. Uh, so let me see, we want furniture, wood chair, and let's just plug it there. And let's have another one in here for Lars. And then we can turn off waiting hall when idle on them, and they can be next to where they need to be all the time. A little bit more efficient. <laughs> Not massively more efficient, but a little bit more efficient. Okay, where's that wolf gone? Is he still hanging around? Yeah, there he is. I think the last time I saw the other one, he was taking a kip on the road. Yeah, looks like he still is. Right, well, when Samantha wakes up, then we'll send her out and she can deal with them. And, oh, yeah, that new door is fixed again. Here comes Ellie. Well, here comes... Uh, Evelyn, who isn't doing anything, because she's gotten bumped again. Get to it, thank you. Yeah, it seems, I'd almost wait it seems like there's floating points that are just kind of getting messed up somewhere. Oh, the door's stuck open because she stood a bit. Yeah, it looks like that room's getting a bit too cramped at the moment. Ah, uh, these mobs are getting out now. Tending to the chicken, gathering eggs and feathers. Ooh, game saving. Just check your inventory. Add spare equipment item. Spare tool, I think it is. Spare tool. Hunting knife. Because she needs that to actually deal with this chicken. Stop by the food. Good. Grabbing a tool, a hunting knife. There we go. Animal fat, feathers, and Karen hand food as well. Lovely. Ah, okay. So, I think we're doing alright. Uh, how are we doing in terms of cloth? We have none. We have plenty of cotton, though. So let me just put five of that on there. Or six of it. And then we can fix these beds being the wrong way around. And then speaking of beds, how is Smoke doing? She is nearly done sleeping. So deconstruct and deconstruct. And then structures, furniture, bed, cloth. 
there. Bed cloth there, facing the right way. So, off you go, Simon. Um, let me see, what else? There was something else I wanted to make that we didn't have the materials for, and I can't remember what it was. I think we are actually falling a little bit behind in terms of our resources for food. Oh, Simon has failed at crafting cloth. I wish when they failed at crafting something that as long as there were the resources for it still, that they would actually keep trying to craft it, or like they would craft it until they ran out of resources or they actually success uh, succeeded, but no, they just remove it from their list. And they don't really tell you why, they just uh, tell you they failed. She should be awake soon enough. Let's get some more wood planks too. And 50 of that's the cube, because we are doing fantastically well for wood now that Bendict has an extra an extra storage spot outside of the for outside of the fort to go to. Which is sort of an interesting little cheat. Um you can completely enclose someone, and as long as they've got uh, like a tool rack and a food barrel, more or less. They can just keep going about their business for all of time. Uh, like, if I was to get rid of this, if I was to put a tool chest and a food barrel down here in the mines, and then just destroy, like, even just have uh, Rickerman get rid of the staircase, he'd never be able to come out, but he'd just keep going. Like, as long as there's someone to make, as the way that it used to work was you would make tools and they would go into a sort of invisible cloud global storage. Uh, the way that it works now is that you can only retrieve certain things from certain storage items, but they don't have to be the same storage items that they were originally stored in. So it's like there's a number of different cloud storages all tied to different things like food barrels and wood piles and weapon racks and all sorts. So as long as you've got one of them in your vicinity, you can grab it even if no one has ever actually put something in there. So it's possible to make entirely contained uh, structures with no exits for anybody. Like people will just stand around and you can die there. Just maybe with starvation and food supplies not enough. Okay, let's take care of all these remaining wolves. Yeah, so let's put the uh, let's put the uh, the dome of doom there. Let's see that moving around. Uh, why is Simon going in there? Come on, you're supposed to wait in the hole. Okay, to battle! I don't know at what distance this wolf is going to go into detector, but I do know that with 34 arrows, oh, I think it's a detector now, and a level 18 archer, that she shouldn't have much issue with it. Come on. Oop, that was a bad idea. Okay, she took a bit of a beating there. Fortunately, Samantha gets a lot of rest, usually. Uh, and where's the other one? Okay, he is over there, he is napping. Uh, who is our next best? That must be Western. So, Western, guard a unit, Samantha. Uh, so, Samantha, if you could stand around here, please, for Western to catch up. Now, Western isn't the best in our bunch. Uh, he is only a level 9, compared to which means he's literally half the level of Samantha. That might even be down to the letter there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but he should hopefully be enough to keep her alive. If need be, I can throw him in front, I can throw him between her and the wolf. Uh, ooh, it looks like Benedict is slowly uh, chopping towards the wolf, which isn't fantastic. There he is. Okay, let's bring her over here. Because I really don't want Samantha to die. If Samantha dies, we have big issues. Not the least being that our longest, like, most famous and popular character dies. Our favorite, as it were. Did 
dead. Wolf is slain by Samantha. Didn't even need Western. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for that Western. Uh, yeah, you're not. You're an idol now again. Okay, well, we don't need the Dome of Doom, so thank you. And Samantha, you can sleep to your heart's content until such time as you are fit and able again. Preferably in a bed. <laughs> God, come on, Samantha. I know you've had a busy day, but come on. Uh, sleep autonomously based on fatigue. Head over here, please. Is Weston still guarding her, I wonder? Yeah, it looks like he is. Hmm. Yeah, just, 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 you know, just, just fall asleep in the middle of the wilderness where you've just killed two different wolves. Yeah, that sounds like a smart idea. Ah. Honestly, they didn't have a kind, benevolent dictator like me. And we don't really need these wolves for anything, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Speaking of, how are the animals doing? Have any more of them starved? No, it looks like they're all okay. That's good. Good work, Beatrix. Uh, okay, Samantha. Go to sleep. And Weston. Stop guarding. And come over here. Thank you. Okay, how are we doing? We have no cobblestone on the builds. Or you just not realized it, I'm not sure which. I haven't realized it. Game's in. Okay. And food is back up to 140. Good! And so our food providers are Beatrix and Lars. Went a little bit too quickly for me to actually do it. Uh, everything else is more or less okay. Build some more cobblestone, please, anyway. Right, everything is looking rather nice. So, uh, Samantha had a little bit of trouble uh, with that first wolf, uh, because she is apparently a slower than she used to be, I'm sure. But uh, she did manage to get him in the end, which is good. And uh, it is dusk on day 19, and day 20 she'll dawn with the 30th episode of Edgington. Which is very, very interesting to realize, especially with all the like, time skip around, and that's completely accidental. Uh, no, you're still idle. Let's add a couple more chairs here, shall we? Uh, nope, outdoors, furniture, wood chair. And let's even add a couple of chairs at the table. Because we have a massive abundance of wood at this point, so people can all come along and sit down at the table and uh, just wonder and eat to their heart's content. No problems. Ha! Ah. Oh, actually, that looks almost like the outer boundary is done. Let me just see some cobblestone. Grab it there. Drag it there. And that is the very same lag spike. I wonder what causes that. That is bizarre. Okay, we'll build the cobblestone 2. Let's get rid of that then. Hmm. I don't know what causes that. That's very strange. Uh, build wood planks to the vertical ones, please. Over here. Can you handle that? You can handle that? Okay, good. Ah, and food is up to 160, so we can expect to still be getting migrants. Uh, but with that, I think we have had a very, very busy day indeed. And Edgington shall call it for the night. So, uh, forest over here, please. Oh, Ellie is leveled up. Hooray! So, from our busy, sleepy den mother. <laughs> 
if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favorite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.